Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Stallings. You know me here on YouTube as Marauder X, and as always I'm your host for Operation Recap. We're taking some of the stories from OperanCall.com, and I deliver them here on YouTube like a happy mailman. I don't know where I was going with that one, but it fell apart fast. Okay, so I've got three stories this week that I want to talk about. Some big news, some different news. The big news that we're going to talk about is Nintendo announced Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Remakes of Ruby and Sapphire, previous generation Pokemon games being remade, full remake like Heart Gold Soul Silver esque, where they are going to be completely faithful to the original, just with a new coat of paint, graphics wise, basically. So, yay for HD remakes again. Normally, I really like HD remakes. I'm starting to get to the point where, okay, this is a little. It's a little much. Because, I mean. Pokemon's one of those things that, you know, the core fundamentals don't change much. They did add new types into the most recent gen, things like that, but there, there are some things that I would still like to see added to the franchise rather than going back and redoing the ones that I played as a kid. Now, I understand why they're doing that. They're making sure that these previous generations are still available to newer generations of gamers, which is something that I might staunch supporter of, as, as I've mentioned in the past, but I just can't help but feel this is a little... Now, I have seen a wonderful joke on the internet, and so I take no credit for this, but I really hope this happens. So you've got Ruby and uh, Sapphire. The other title that came out that generation was Emerald. I would love to see Chaos Emerald. Come on, the joke. Whoever did come up with that joke, I salute you. That's great. That is fan freaking tastic. So yeah, if you are a Pokemon fan, if you're a fan of Ruby and Sapphire, or never got a chance to play them when they were at their peak, that sort of thing, well, now you can for your 3DS. So go check that out. The second story for this week that I want to talk about, it's not really a story, it's more we asked you and you talked to us about it. And since I've been a big also staunch supporter of, hey, let's have interaction with our viewer base. Uh, we have a reader's pick of most wanted Game Boy Advance games for the Virtual Console. You guys, we, we gave you a list of games that we kicked around the office. You guys talked about what you wanted and voted and discussed ad nauseum, as we did. We discussed, like, why would this game be here? How many franchises, like, how many entries in a specific franchise should we represent? Like, because then you could easily have, you know, all of the Final Fantasies that got remade on the, the Game Boy Advance be added to this, or both Golden Sun games, there, or, or all of the Advance Wars. There's, there's so many in these franchises that it could easily, that a, fran a single franchise could dominate a top ten list, depending on, you know, how many fans of that, that series are. So we, we talked about it a lot, but you, you were the ones that talked about what you wanted to see most, and we we put that up on the site. Reader's pick of most wanted Game Boy Advance games. Go check it out. It's four pages long because we did take a little bit of time to discuss each game that was was on the list. And I gotta say, most of the time I I look at readers picks versus staff picks for various websites, and there's there's always kind of a, a an odd disconnect. Like there's at least a handful of titles that are on one list that aren't on the other that you're sitting here going why why are they not on both lists those are great games at least I find myself doing it this time I'm sitting here looking at this list and I am actually amazed at just how in sync our audience is with a lot of our our personal tastes at least my personal tastes I can't speak for the rest of the staff but I I was very impressed by this readers pick list go check that out if you haven't already Oh, or if you have not voted on it, it's voting sadly over and that sort of thing. But, you know, it, the, the list is there. Go let us know if you agree or disagree with that list, because I, I kind of agree with it. So, I'm... I would love to see all these. So, let's, let's just let's aim for that. And the last story for the week is probably going to get some people riled up. Uh, Nintendo reiterates stance on same-sex couples and Tomodachi Life. This got so many comments on the article itself. Those of you who don't know, Tomodachi Life is kind of a, a life sim, kind of like playing the game Life, but with a little me character. 
it had the ability to have a same-sex relationship, kind of, by having people wear the same style clothes. And it, a lot of it was a lot of it was inconsequential, to be completely honest. But Nintendo removed that feature and issued a statement that they were not intending to make a public statement. They were not intending to address a social issue with a game. But by doing this and issuing the statement, you inadvertently have. And there's no good way around this. There really isn't. Because you've got people on both sides of the argument sitting here saying, respect my beliefs. And if you don't respect my beliefs, you're just intolerant. It's sadly not the way it works uh, on, <laughs> on either side. I'm a, a big, big, big supporter of equal rights. I cannot stress that enough. Some of my best friends, I, I have to sit here and watch cringe every time some sort of new legislation passes that affects them and only them directly because of who they are. And that, that depresses me. And that makes me a very angry and hate-filled person when it comes to this topic. So I'm going to try to not let that vitriol out because I want to see my friends happy. I want to see everyone have the same rights and privileges and the, the same ability to experience life in a positive way that I can and that I have. I'm not saying my, my life has been all roses, but there have been moments that have been fantastic in it, and one of them was getting married. And I'm saddened that my friends cannot experience that and that things like the, the, they're so small in in stature like this game causing so much animosity between groups of people just it, it depresses me I would have much preferred it if Nintendo just left it open-ended didn't say anything about it but I know they couldn't because they would have come under fire by the same groups of people saying respect my my beliefs otherwise you're intolerant by saying, well, my kid has to see this. Well, your kid doesn't have to see this, you don't have to buy it. But the same can be said for the people on the other side who wanted to see this. Well, it's not in it, you don't have to buy it. Buy a game that does. And it's, like I said, there's no good way to sit here without just name-calling. And I refuse to do that. I, I, I refuse to name-call as much as I want to and as much as I have in the past. But Nintendo has... has put their stance on this and uh, this is really no different than some of the the same sex controversy that popped up in the Mass Effect series or in the Elder Scroll games where you have the ability to create your own avatar and if you have that ability to create your own avatar and if there's any sort of romantic connection romantic underlying to the story then people are going to get up in arms about this and I sit here and say it's a game get over it if any sort of lifestyle choice, one way or another, uh, bothers you, then you probably shouldn't be playing a game in the first place, because games are about escapism at the, the most. That's like me getting upset that Mario kills turtles and fungus. Maybe I'm a fungus fan. Maybe I collect spores, molds, and fungus, like Egon Spengler. And, uh the fact that he, he squashes Goombas. That offends me. And that, this is how ridiculous it sounds. The fact that I can't even continue this statement without just laughing. It's ridiculous. But go check out that story. I'm sure you can add to the comments in that article or in the comments in this video about that. And, and I could go on ad nauseum about it. I have before in the past, and I'm going to try to spare my audience that this time, because that is not what you are here for. You're not here for my my choices on social progress and change. You are here for my opinions on video games. So go check out those stories that I mentioned before, and go check out all the other stories from Opera Rainfall. There's been a lot of, of new trailers coming out. People are gear, gearing up for E3, so the, the steady trickle of stories is starting to increase, and then it will become a deluge of news. So stick with us for that, because E3 last year was a blast, and it's going to be even better this year. And I will see you guys next week for another recap.